This is TV Platinum. Here are the top five stories making the headline. On number one, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NMPCL, has increased the price of premium motor spirit PMS, also known as petrol, to 1,025 naira per litre from 980 naira per litre in Lagos and nearby states. This adjustment announced on Tuesday is the third price change in recent weeks and aligns with the government's deregulation policy, allowing prices to fluctuate with market conditions. However, analysts are puzzled by the hike, noting a drop in international crude oil prices by 8% from $78 to $72 per barrel. In Abuja, prices of petrol have also soared, reaching 1,060 naira per litre. On number two, Vice President Kashim Shetima has stressed the importance of forging a robust partnership with the government and the media to drive Nigeria's development. Speaking on Tuesday during a visit from the Nigerian Guild of Editors NGE, led by its president Eze Anaba, Shetima highlighted the role of the media as the nation's conscience. He assured that the government is committed to supporting the media's sustainability and urged media leaders to collaborate with the government for national unity and growth. He said the time has come to prioritize governance over politics. On number three, Aliko Dangote, chairman of Dangote Refinery, has advised the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NMPCL, and other importers to halt fuel imports, assuring them that 500 million liters of fuel are available at the refinery's tank. After meeting with President Bola Tinumbu on the nation's fuel queues, Dangote emphasized that there would be no need for fuel shortages if marketers were allowed to buy directly from the refinery. He added that with a sufficient crude supply, the Dangote refinery can produce over 30 million liters of fuel daily, ensuring stable supply nationwide. On number four, a member of the House of Representatives has issued a public apology for slapping a boat driver during a delivery incident. According to his misconduct, Honorable Alex admitted that his actions did not align with the values expected of a public official. He said in quote, As a public servant, I recognize the trust placed in me by my constituent and the Nigerian people. My behavior fell short of the standards and for that, I am truly sorry, he said in a statement on Monday. And lastly, the Senate has approved President Balatunubu's request to refund 24 billion naira to Kebi and Nassau states for executing airport projects on behalf of the federal government. The breakdown of the refund includes 15 billion for Kebi, 9 billion for Nasarawa. The approval followed the consideration of a report presented by the Senate's Committee on Local and Foreign Debts. Tinumbu noted that the evasion infrastructure falls under the federal government's jurisdiction as stipulated in the constitution. With no objections from the Senate, the motion was adopted by Senator Amino Abbas Adamawa Central and moved for its approval. Those are the top stories. Do subscribe and follow us across all our platforms to get more of this update.